Hello and welcome to the e News Bulletin of IPR Department. I'm Chiring Eden. Let's look at the top 10 news making headlines. On the occasion of the Government Formation Day, a simple function was organized at Samman Bhavan here in the capital on Wednesday, the 27th of May. A year ago, SKM government had come into power, dislodging the previous regime of 25 years. The function, which was graced by Honorable Chief Minister Sri Prem Singh Tamang as the chief guest, was attended by his cabinet colleagues, MLAs, and Loan Lok Sabha MP. Addressing the gathering, Sri P.S. Tamang in a short address remembered everyone who was instrumental in bringing SKM party into government and also thanked everyone including the BGP MLAs who are now working in tandem with the government. He also urged his council of ministers, MLAs and party cadres to work tirelessly and serve the people of Sikkim with utmost care, concern and compassion. He also remembered and thanked all the COVID warriors for their commendable job and said that it is due to their effort that Sikkim has been in the green zone. With an objective to provide subsidized loan to the farmers, Minister Loknath Sharma convened a meeting with the general manager and office in charge Reserve Bank of India, Sikkim State Branch, at his chamber at Ashling Secretariat on Wednesday. Minister Sharma informed about increasing interest of the farmers in the field of agriculture, horticulture, animal husbandry and allied sectors. He has asked the bank to address the disposal of the applicants submitted by the farmers at the earliest. General Manager RBI Sikkim Branch also assured to extend full cooperation. It was also decided that a meeting with the bankers would be held on 2nd of June 2020 to formulate a comprehensive plan for the benefits of the farmers at large. On Wednesday, Minister Samdup Lepcha visited the landslide affected area in Bay under Sakyong Pentong GPU, Upper Zonggu, North Sikkim, along with other officials. He interacted with the people there and distributed ex gratia to the victims of the landslide. Later, meeting was conducted in Panchayat House in which the Panchayat President put forward some demands related to road connectivity and infrastructure. As per the latest update from the State Health Department, the first COVID-19 patient of Sikkim is in perfectly good condition with no fever or any symptoms. If he continues in this manner, he will be sent home after a few days after undergoing two consecutive negative tests. All primary contacts have also tested negative. More than 750 test results of returnees are still awaited from North Bengal Medical College, Siliguri. The viral lab in STNM is waiting for one last clearance, after which all tests will be done in the state itself. It is being strictly advised that those who are being sent home after test must observe strict home quarantine and are not allowed to roam around because it is possible for symptoms to develop later even if they test negative now. The Education Department has issued an advisory to all the private schools in the state to consider waiving off charges on account of games, library, science, computers, transport fees, etc. during the period of lockdown. It has also asked the schools to provide a suitable extension of time for payment of tuition and developmental fees for those parents who are unable to pay during the lockdown period. In a new circular issued by the State Home Department, it has been informed that pick-up, takeaway and home delivery service from all restaurants, fast food centers, bakeries and sweet shops shall be allowed to operate from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day. However, in-house seating is not allowed. The odd-even stipulation will not apply to the two-wheelers engaged in home delivery of food. In other news, exam dates for the pending and upcoming exams of the Union Public Service Commission and the Staff Selection Commission is expected to be announced next week. While the UPSC had said that the revised schedule will be announced on June 5th, the SSC has said that it will review the situation on June 1st before taking a decision on the exam schedule. UPSC and SSC had postponed their exams due to COVID-19 pandemic. CBSC has decided to allow students who have shifted to their homes to appear for their board examinations from the districts that they are currently staying in. The students would have to inform their respective schools about their present locations. The announcement was recently made by Union HRD Minister Ramesh Pokhriyal Nishank. Thousands of students had moved to their home state due to the COVID-19 crisis. As per the revised date sheets, the class 10 and 12 board exams will be conducted from July 1st to July 15th. 
As extreme heat, hunger and dehydration add to the woes of returning migrant workers, nine passengers have been found dead. Shramik special train since Monday. While a few deaths on board the non-air conditioned trains were also reported earlier after they were launched on 1st May to ferry migrant laborers to their home states, the railways on Wednesday said that most of the deceased had pre-existing medical conditions. Migrant deaths have been a cause of concern lately. According to official data, Shramik special trains, which were introduced by the Indian Railways to ferry back migrants stranded in different parts of the country, have ferried over 44 lakh migrant workers on board 3,276 trains since May 1st so far. As per the latest information received from the state evacuation team, out of the 8,700 plus registered, 4,425 have successfully returned home, out of which 2,063 have travelled by train. The state government, in coordination with the other states and the Indian Railways, has arranged for seven special shramic trains for ferrying stranded people from other parts of the country. As per the official report, 134 have arrived in train from Tamil Nadu, 168 from Gujarat, 814 from Karnataka, 856 from Chandigarh, 79 from Kerala and 12 persons from Madhya Pradesh. That is all we have for today. Please like and follow our Facebook page that is Government of Sikkim official page for the most authentic news and information on recent developments in the government and the state. Stay home, stay safe.